Man, when I heard that Ubisoft was making a fishing game on the Nintendo Switch, I got ecstatic. I love fishing games, and Ubisoft seemed perfect for this. I mean, their track record is so excellent. The South Park games, the Just Dance series, Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle, Rayman Legends, even Monopoly was a joy on the Nintendo Switch. And I can safely say, guys, that Legendary Fishing is by far the worst game that they have put out to date. Hello everyone, I am Bradley Overrated, and today we review Legendary Fishing. And let's just jump into this steaming pile of garbage. That's There's no other way to say it. And to start off, it says you can play with the Joy-Con using the HD rumble and swing it around and everything. It's a lie. I couldn't get it to work. I don't know how you can get it to work. If you can do it, good for you. Also, if you like your Pro Controller, this game does not allow you to use it. You have to play with the Joy-Con and it has to be sideways. So good luck with that. Now, when I play fishing games, I like to enter tournaments. I even had a game, I believe it was Rapala Fishing on the Wii U, where you can enter tournaments. This game does not do that. Career mode is just mission challenges, and I'll show you that. Arcade mode, you can play against other people, which is fun. And then there's free play mode, which you can just go out and fish for whatever reason. But my favorite thing on this menu are the credits. That's right, they took so much time in putting the credits into this game that you have to manually scroll down them yourself. I don't mind having the option to be able to go back up and check out names and stuff, but just the fact that I have to do it myself shows just how lazy they were in making this game. And there's a lot of people that went into the development of this game. Have none of them played a fishing game before? Do they even know what fishing is? And that's what's the worst thing about Legendary Fishing. I mean, there are so many basic features that aren't working correctly or they just don't have. This is an empty game. This game, by the way, is $30. This game is 30 effing dollars. I cannot believe this game is $30 and that's just lacks in content and variety and sustenance. Where do you get off charging $40 for Just Dance 2019 and $30 for a game that has maybe a fourth of the content? It is frustrating. And let me show you something right now. When we go to the controllers and we have two players like this, uh, career mode says you can play with two people. It is the worst thing ever. Let me show you how career mode works with two people, okay? Thank you, by the way, to my wife for doing this with me. Just wanted to point that out. She's a sweetheart and bless her soul for being put through this hell. So in career mode, you get to choose your place. As you can see, there are certain missions that, and as the season progresses along, you'll unlock the ones later on, as I found out. And that's cool. I don't really mind that, and I don't mind the mission structure, because you can acquire new fishing poles and new gear for your fishing poles, which is nice. It's a nice change of pace, right? So I was really looking forward to playing this with my wife. She'll join. Bam. She joins. Let me show you how this works right there on the bottom. When playing co-op, player two will enter and you can sprinkle bait and draw in fish. Use the strength of two people to reel catches in more quickly. <laughs> so if you're player two, you're not fishing. You're sprinkling bait while player one gets to have all the fun. That is how co-op in career mode works, ladies and gentlemen, because that's what we wanted to play in a fishing game. And then the other big issue with this game is as you fish, you'll notice that you are not on a boat, but yet you're not on land. You cannot control a place where you want to go, and like I said on the Wii U Rapala game, I was actually in a boat and I could sail around and select my spots, just stuck in one spot for the most part. And I don't know, I don't know if you're on a boat or what, I, be I begin to believe that it's called Legendary Fishing because you are, must be Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, this game has Jesus because you are clearly standing on the water, you are not anywhere near the shore and yet your body is nowhere to be found and your boat is nowhere to be found so I don't know what on earth is going on here but it's just it's just lame <laughs> there's no other way to say it. it's just a really poor effort it's like they didn't think this through they didn't think hey maybe we should like show a boat to show that you're on the water or something or maybe you should allow people to pick where they want to fish in this area but this is it, guys. Look, you have to choose, like I said, and you're clearly not on the shore. You're standing on the water. You are freaking Jesus, and you're fishing. 
Now the saving grace of this game is the fishing aspect of it is really fun. I do enjoy catching the fish, although it is a little bit too easy. If you reel too hard, the line can break, and if the then that circle perimeter, if the fish gets off of it and you don't bring it in fast enough without reeling, he can get loose. And as you go through the game and you get to the harder challenges and the fish, they become a little bit more difficult, which is why you need new fishing rods and new types of lure to catch them. And that's really fun. I do really enjoy that. But it's so basic that it just leaves you wanting more. And that's the biggest problem in this game. It's so shallow. It doesn't make a splash, it makes a little ripple. Eh. And it's not a good one. One last thing before I give this game a letter grade. The announcer guy is really annoying. I don't know if you heard him in the last thing, but he's always going, Good throw! Here it comes! Reel it in! Oh, it's getting away! Reel it in! Reel it in! Reel it in! Reel it in! And I just want to strangle him. I don't know who he is or who's talking. Like, Does, does Jesus have a companion because I'm standing on the water? So I don't get it. But I wish he would shut up, and if I shut him up, I lose all the other sound effects. Which, you know, I like my sound effects. I like to hear myself cast and stuff. Unfortunately, the announcer is basically a sound effect. And that sucks. If I could shut him up, I would. If I could strangle him, I would consider it. I mean, he is just the worst. Alright guys, let's give this game a letter grade. F being the worst, A being the best, and... Legendary Fishing is honestly a D-. And I would have gone an F if I didn't at least somewhat enjoy catching the fish in the game and progressing through the career mode by myself, mind you, because this game is not fun with other people, which is unfortunate. It's just, it's lifeless. This is a very lifeless game, and I really hope Ubisoft down the road will make a better fishing experience because they really should be ashamed of what they put out here on the Switch for $30. This concludes my overrated review, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like this video and stay the hell away from this game. I mean, this game sucks so much. Uh, and that's the good news, by the way. There are two other fishing games that came out. I will be trying those out because I really want a good fishing game on the Switch because I feel like the Joy-Cons could be utilized perfectly. All right, I'm out like a trout. Thank you once again for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video that I do. Have a great day. Catch you later. One more time, stay the hell away from this game. Please don't buy this. Just don't.